You have to think, unless Vadil and Janice toss, it is their tournament in the bag with Mustache doing everything he can to try to close this out. We often see Malabuka in these positions, but Mustache has been there alongside him in almost every duo tournament for the last few seasons. Mustache is just as good as Malabuka, and let's see if he can prove it. 14 teams, 25 players. 35 builds and oh nice beam there takes down t chips mustache not going down without a fight janice and badil still a full duo though badil himself not too healthy less than 150 total hp he's in that mid-ground layer though looking safe 38 builds they're getting contested though the wall gets taken badil beautiful armor wall i did say armor wall might be the difference this game holds out those teams very aggressively pushing onto them six builds left for mustache 15 for badil Mustache needs something here, though. He needs something big. Oh, they're sneezy. And no, the Frenchman just throws up the wall. Mustache could have found his big refresh. That could have been the moment. Mustache now tanking zone with these splashes, trying to play the backside. Sneezy doesn't know he's there, but now it's Andalex and Sneezy. Tony has no SMG, has no follow up. He's in zone on 36 health. This might be it. This might be the EU FNCS Grand Finals. And I think it is Mustache and Malabuka going down in second place. Vadil and Janice still pushing forward in first. You have to think this is now the victory lap. 10 teams, 20 players. I think it was enough. Mustache, unfortunately, not able to pull it off. It was a tough situation to be in, going up against a healthy duo. A very, very good duo who has played incredibly well over the last 11 games of Fortnite this weekend. Zero builds for Vadil, though. What can Vadil and Janice do? They're looking for something, but they're on they're on one wood wall. No other builds. Looks like Janice is going to jump down and find a bit of a refresh, but he might get caught in the box. Janice does, and he can't follow up with the burst shot. It's now up to Vadil to keep pushing their lead forward. 330 points. Zero builds, one Elim, but I think one Elim was enough. What can he find? This is the victory lap. What can he do? No, he's going to get held out in zone. Not like this. You don't want to go down a zone in your last game on the grand final run. Please, come on, surely. The 7 HP clutch, something. Someone's got to get maxied. Vadil's outside the wall. Karma inside it. Can he win this? Oh, he does. Vadil's still going. Vadil is not going down without a fight. He is pushing the leaderboard even further forward. Vadil is not giving up on this one. He's the only solo left in this lobby, I'm pretty sure right now. Belusi, Hydro, no, there's Usury around the corner. Kiddo backing him up, but Vadil doesn't see what we can see. Usury might be his best chance. Another refresh, his one shot. Hits two shots, three shots, four shots, and no. Vadil doesn't have enough to close it out. Belusia wins it. That, I don't know if that jumped them above them on the leaderboard, but that again could be a swing of a few thousand dollars, but hopefully the leaderboard's updated. I'm sure it is. Let's see. Do we have the updated leaderboard? I know the first place is called Usury and Kidawo. 12 games. That's it. Vadil and Janice close out FNCS Chapter 3, Season 3 with the dub. 337 points. A very, very dominant performance. Average elims of 3.3 and an average placement just outside top 10 in 12 games. Very, very deserving of this win. Only had one rough game, really. Maybe two. A 28th and a 45th. The only two games disrupting a phenomenal match history. Ty, it's looking like a Vadil Janice win. I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to lie. Mustache would have to clutch up something absolutely humongous in these mats. Oh, it's over. It's over. It's over. Oh! Vadil won then. It has to be. I mean, literally no one else can outplace him, I don't think. Not even if they win, because all the other people died that were top four. I wonder how much they're gonna win by, though. I'm curious. Oh. Uh, oh! Seven HP. What am I watching? Oh, wow. Jeez, that was crazy, though. Jeez, Vadil just what happens, yes. But how, by how many points? Hold on. That's crazy. Malabuka and them still did really good. Second is not bad, but I also... I 20 points. Jeez, you're right. 19 points. Jeez. Second is still good, but I know how it, like... It's gotta suck to be that close to winning and only getting second, though. But they did so good, though. 
There's so many solo clutches on so many of the top teams throughout the whole tourney. 